star is Ileana Raeva, who made a terrific start to the championships by winning the first two individual gold medals. And we join in with three more individual titles still to be sided and with Raeva going for her third gold medal in the hoop competition. Alan Weeks commentates. Double gold medalist Ileana Raeva of Bulgaria. Overall first, ropes first. Now comes up for her next exercise, the hoop. Made of wood or plastic, the interior diameter about an average, say, of two foot ten. The exercise swinging the hoop in circles, turning the hoop and twisting it with one or two hands. Rotation, throwing, rolling and jumping through and over it. All those must be done with continuity and combined with rhythmic steps, hops and jumps. Five feet in the air. Superb. by the heel. <laughs> Ileana Raiva, who is in superb form in these European Championships. She was in the lead after the first overall section with a score of 9.8. And she may well look happy. A score of 9.9 .9 gives her a total of 19.7. She can't be beaten in this hoop exercise. That's her third gold medal in a row. Lilia Ignatova. Girl who scored the second highest mark in the overall competition is Lilia Ignatova, Bulgaria. She was overall second, and she scored 9.65 to carry forward. and a half minutes of sheer perfection by Lilia Ignatova. She needs 9.55 to go into second place. Should certainly score that. And it's 9.8. Gives her a total of 19.45. Puts her into second place, the silver medal position at the moment. Confirmation of the result, a third gold medal for Ileana Raeva of Bulgaria, the silver to Lilia Ignatova 
of Bulgaria and Carmen Rusha of West Germany gets the bronze. Starting her club's exercise, Lilia Ignatova, Bulgaria, already won a silver medal in the hoop exercise and silver medalist overall. The clubs, about 18 inches long, weigh about five and a quarter ounces. And the exercise consists of swings and circles, different directions and in planes, and clubs in alternate directions. Twirls, throws, either one club or both together, or one after the other, and the catch, and everything must happen in a smooth and continuous manner. Combined, of course, with steps and runs, hops, who scored the highest in the overall competition in this club exercise. Ilya Ignatova with 9.8, and that was a faultless performance. Ilya Ignatova, 9.8 again. Two very high scores, 9.8, 9.8, giving a total of 19.6, and that's gonna be tough to beat. But the girl who could change that situation is Ileana Rayeva, Bulgaria. Already a triple gold medalist on her, her form today could get into the gold medal position again. She needs 9.9 .9 if she's going to do that. At the moment, she has 9.75 to carry forward. five feet in the air and she is absolutely sure 40 feet I would say what a finish well she was equal first in the world championship of 1979 could she win another gold medal And yes, she has. Her score is 9.85, which gives her 19.6, equal with her teammate Liliana Ignatova. So each of them will receive a gold medal. That's how it stands at the moment, and I think they're pretty unbeatable. The result confirmed with a double goal for the Bulgarians, who absolutely sweeping these European championships. The last of the four individual competitions, the ribbons, and once again setting the pace, Ileana Raiva of Bulgaria, who's already won four gold medals. That's more individual gold medals than anyone has won in European championships in modern rhythmic gymnastics. At the moment, though, she's in second place, but uh, knowing her form, could well jump up for another gold. She's scored 9.6, equal second to carry over in this exercise, which is swings and circles at arm's length with the ribbon in one large 
arc with an unbroken curve with snaking, the spirals at concentric circles, same size, perhaps smaller, figures of eight, and throws, which is the most difficult part, and not absolutely necessary, but all the top gymnasts put in a throw like that. Well, it looked as though it was going to go anyway, but she will throw it, there's no doubt. And this exercise must be completed with both hands. There, she's changed hands there, and again. And there's a throw. foot long ribbon was really moving beautifully. Iliana Raiva, no errors, no mistakes, and setting the pace, her mark will set the standard for this, the last of the individual competition. And she's done it again. A score of 9.9. .9. That gives her 19.5 total again. That's going to be tough to beat. Inessa Lysovskaya, Soviet Union, won a bronze in the clubs and two fourth places. She tossed the ribbon, which is attached to that stick, which is about 22 inches long, about 20 feet in the air, did the fall roll and caught it perfectly as it landed. Inessa Lisovskaya, who was carrying forward 9.6, now is shooting at the mark set by Ileana Rayeva. And she scores 9.7, which doesn't. Her total score is 19.3, puts her into second place at this moment. Lilia Ignatova, who had scored the highest mark in the overall competition, 9.75, so she needs 9.8 to take a second gold. She won the gold in the clubs, equal first.
two strokes to the perfect of that. Zilia Ignatova of Bulgaria shooting for her second gold medal and for the first time the Soviet Union will not win a gold in any of the individual competitions of the European Modern Rhythmic Gymnastics Championships. Her mark, 9.85. Not quite as good as her teammate, Ilyana Rayeva, who scored 9.9, .9, but good enough in total to give her the gold medal. But there is a bronze medal for the Soviet Union through Inessa Lesovskaya, receiving her medal now. That's her second of these championships, but on the left of that podium, the two golden girls of this 1980 championship. On the top, Lilia Ignatova, who's won two gold medals and a silver. And on the left, Ilyana Raeva, also of Bulgaria, who's won four gold medals and one silver. The team of the Soviet Union in the group exercise, which lasts between two minutes, 30 seconds, and three minutes. Six gymnasts are using two different types of apparatus, the ball and the ribbon, and the apparatus must be exchanged between members of the team at least four times and in different ways. There should also be at least six different formations at circles, lines, diagonals, triangles, etc. At the end of the exercise, they'll get two sets of marks from two different panels of judges. was a super performance by the Soviet Union, the 1979 world champions in the group exercise, but second in the 78 European Championships to the Bulgarian team and lying second as they go into this part of the competition. So their mark will now set the pace. The mark from one panel of judges is 9.85. From the other panel, it's 9.7.
They have a total of 38.475, and that indeed does set a very high standard for the Bulgarians to shoot at. These are the defending European champions. The team from Bulgaria, who had the highest carry forward mark of 19.6, they finished third in the 1979 World Championship. was a great performance by the Bulgarians. All the steps, jumps and turns completely in time and expressive of the rhythm of the music. The working of the apparatus, absolutely perfect. The marks of the Bulgarians, 9.8 and 9.9, .9, that gives them a total of 39.3. The team from Czechoslovakia in the group exercise. They were second in the 1979 World Championships and third in the 1978 European Championships. losing the ribbon when it came across.
what a pity. Virtually the last movement, and the ribbon dropped by the center girl. Point one, they're going to lose that. Team from Czechoslovakia. Perhaps two minor errors then in their routine. Czechoslovakia score 9.55 at 9.6, a total of 37.875. That puts them into third place behind Bulgaria and the Soviet Union. So the group final won by Bulgaria. The medal is presented to them by Mr. Franklin Edmonds, President of the British Amateur Gymnastics Association. The silver medal went to the Soviet Union and the bronze medal to Czechoslovakia. And that means that every gold medal of these European Modern Rhythmic Gymnastics Championships has been won by Bulgaria.